that launched Richardson into political fame. He was in the right place at the right time, visiting the country when the North shot down an American helicopter for allegedly trespassing. One pilot died, Richardson negotiated the other's release. They were the toughest negotiations I've ever faced. The event would define the next six years of his life. He was tapped again in 95 to free two Americans captured in Iraq. The negotiations began as a national secret. Those were the instructions I had from the Clinton White House. They basically said, you're on your own on this, but we don't want anybody to hear that you're talking to the Iraqis because they're our enemy. But we want these two Americans freed. So as long as you stay under the radar, as long as you don't screw up, we're not going to say anything. But if you screw up, if this gets out, we're going to say we know nothing about it. Six months later, Richardson was face to face with Saddam Hussein. The Iraqi dictator gave in. And that was one of the great thrills, not just getting them released, but the meeting I had with Saddam Hussein, which was one of the most exciting yet tense meetings I've ever had. I mean, this is a real bad guy. And you're kind of wondering if after the interview, after the meeting, you're going to be alive. <laughs> Richardson repeated the work over and over, from political prisoners in Cuba to aid workers in Sudan. Congressman. All of it catapulted his political stock. In 1996, Richardson won his eighth election to the U.S. House by 46 percentage points. But he would not finish the term. Someone else had other plans for him. His name was Bill Clinton. <laughs> President Clinton called on Richardson and all his international experience in late 1996 to go to the highest level of world diplomacy, the United Nations. This is a heavy responsibility that I don't undertake lightly. Richardson was careful to leave the New Mexico door open for a political return. All of those that are counting out of politics, uh, don't count me out, I'll be back. For the time, he enjoyed his international post as ambassador to the UN. But a year and a half later, something better came along. If there's one word that comes to mind when I think of Bill Richardson, it really is energy. Secretary of Energy, it may have been a good job, but the timing was awful. President Clinton was embroiled in the Monica Lewinsky scandal, and Richardson was getting closer to the embattled president. Ambassador Richardson personally interviewed Lewinsky in October of 1997 and offered her a public relations job at the UN. Lewinsky declined, but the offer was enough for senators to hold up Richardson's confirmation as Secretary of Energy. I very much look forward to leading the Department of Energy as it carries out its important and diverse mission. Once taking over the Energy Department, things did not get any easier. At that period of time, I had probably my lowest moments as a servant.